Welcome back. With me from the Orange County Mosquito and Vector Control District is Public Information Officer Mary Joy Coburn, and I'd like to welcome you. Thank you. Great to have you here today. Pleasure. And um, we've got a few things to talk about, mm -hmm. but uh, primarily we're going to talk about mosquitoes, mosquitoes and mosquito yes. season. And mm -hmm. I think a lot of people who may, um, may have moved here recently from out of the area and uh, they may not realize that yes we get a lot of mosquitoes here mm -hmm. of course they get a lot more in the south yeah. and other parts of the united right. states but we do get them here and we've had an awful lot of rain so therefore mm -hmm. You know, a lot yeah. more opportunities exactly for with with uh, a lot of rain there's a lot of rainwater accumulating in our backyards and then with the warmer temperatures that actually creates the perfect right. temperature condition for these mosquitoes to breed and you know it's really interesting because mosquitoes only need five days to complete their life cycle from egg to adult so that's that's really fast yeah that is mm -hmm. very very fast right. and uh, uh, we're going to be uh, kind of going through some different slides here that mm -hmm. give some information. But um, there's all, uh, all different kinds of uh, mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we have what I would call like the standard mosquito, you know, the southern house mosquito. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know what I always want to ask when you folks come on? You get something sometimes flying around in your house that are bigger, and mm -hmm. we used to call them mosquito hawks. Right. Am the, I right about that? They're but they're actually, not mosquitoes. They're or crane are they? flies, and crane flies are attracted okay. to light, and they they come out, but they don't bite. Okay. So if you see anything larger, they're probably about the size of a quarter. Um, they're, right. they're not a threat. It's okay. the mosquitoes, and you'll know you have mosquitoes because they will be biting you. Okay. So definitely, you know, follow the recommendations that we say. Um, mosquitoes need a little bit of water to live, yeah. especially the Culex fasciatus or the southern house mosquito. That's easy for you to say. <laughs> These mosquitoes are known to transmit West Nile virus, which okay. we've been having and we've had in Orange County, and we have them every year. So that is a concern, and mosquitoes need just a little bit of water. So we say no water, no mosquitoes. Okay. Make sure you look around your, your property to eliminate anything that holds water. Is a southern house mosquito what I would refer to as the common mosquito, something we've had for years? They have been our common mosquitoes okay. in Orange like County. Like when you go uh, to the south or something, you're out on a field, they're buzzing all around you. Is that kind yeah, of There the are different mosquitoes okay. in different areas. Okay. I know the, the southern house are um, in Orange County, and they've been here in the Southland, actually. They've been here for a while. But there are new invasive mosquitoes that, yeah, we've got that photos popped up in, in 2015. And there's actually three different kinds of species here. But really, for, for the residents to remember, you know, they're, they're pretty much the same as far as their characteristics and what they're capable of doing. Okay. These are tiny mosquitoes. They're black with white stripes. And um, slightly different from the other mosquito, they bite during the day also, not just at dusk and dawn. And they can also breed inside your home. You know, a lot of people have these lucky bamboo plants or the bromeliad plants in their home. Sure. These mosquitoes lay their eggs individually um, in those containers and then if you water the plants, the, the yeah. mosquitoes hatch and then they become biting adults. Wow. Yeah, something to remember also, it's not just these plants anymore. Some people have a spare bathroom that they don't use. If there's standing water in the toilet brush um, container, right. you could be breeding mosquitoes there or in your in your sinks or in your um, bathtub, if there's any water collecting or just pooling, there could be mosquito breeding. Yeah, so we that's ask, an interesting thing right? that you said there because like with house plants, I, you know, most of us have some kind of house plants mm -hmm. and one of the goals of a lot of them, like, you know, I have some, uh, some in my house and, and uh, you got uh, all different kinds and quite often is to keep them just slightly moist, obviously. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. You know, they so need they a don't little bit of water. Yeah, yeah. So it's, and of course the water pulls down into a little saucer because you don't want it running on your counter. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So just a weekly, regular routine to take a look around. If there's any standing water, dump it out in the bathroom. Just make sure you turn on the hot water so that just kills anything growing in there, or just. You know, take a look around and okay. remove any standing water. And you've got some, some information and tips here. Yeah, these are the difference between the Culex, the Southern House Mosquito, and the new invasive 80s okay. mosquitoes. And as you can see, um, the, the Culex Mosquito lay their eggs on egg rafts, right? So you could just dump that out and that, ki that kills the, 
the larvae and the pupae mm -hmm. or the yeah. eggs. But the Aedes mosquitoes, they actually lay their eggs individually. So a little bit more is needed. Check it regularly and you can also scrub those containers, especially pet bowls. Mm -hmm. You know, they need to be scrubbed uh, routinely, regularly so that we keep our pets safe. And this is something, you know, going back to that other one, the 80s mosquitoes, mm -hmm. that's really um, hard to combat is that they will lay their eggs and they, the eggs that can sit there for a year exactly. and then get Over moist. Exactly. Over a year. And, Mm -hmm. Yeah. They, they have seen some um, eggs remain viable for over eight years. Wow. So It's yeah, almost like planting a seed. You exactly. know, a seed can be dry for years. It hits a little bit of water and mm -hmm. begins to germinate. It's just it's, waiting wow. for the prime condition. So these are the common breeding sources we've found around homes when we do inspections. Fountains, you know, those are the, the stems of the lucky bamboo plants. The eggs lay, um, the mosquitoes lay their eggs oh, individually okay. on the stems. Of course, um, the most obvious one are the saucers under mm -hmm. pots, even a bottle cap that's just randomly that's tossed true. out in the backyard, yeah. um, tires, and then that's at the top of a bromeliad. So bromeliads right. are normally watered from the top. Yeah, Unfortunately, yeah. that pulls a lot of water. Wow, and they, you know, with all the rain we've been having, mm -hmm. it, that's very hard to combat everything in your yard. Now, mo you know, here, most people have a balcony or mm -hmm. small patio, but we're not, you can be worried about right here, but we're surrounded by single family homes. Mm -hmm. The mosquitoes get out, they go around, they're not just staying in that one area. And so you're talking about thousands of people that have to kind of work together. I know for mm -hmm. me having, after all this rain, if you walk through our yard, there's standing water Mm -hmm. everywhere and you know exactly. little cracks in, in the bricks or something you so know? we're trying to get the message yeah. out talk to your neighbors who may not be watching the show yeah. um, we also have a meeting coming up so we can talk to as many people as we can so we can share the information mm -hmm. no water no mosquitoes make sure you dump out any water so that we don't breed any mosquitoes okay so that's obviously a good tip to go mm -hmm. around is there anything that can be done uh, you know well, this is your next slide here, that yeah. you can prevent them from coming in the house. Obviously, screens and windows mm -hmm. and any kind of uh, repair holes in the screen because exactly. they're tiny, they can exactly. get Exactly, so that they don't come in, so make sure that they are in good condition. And then also don't leave windows and doors open. Sometimes when it gets warm, we tend to do that so we get a little breeze coming mm -hmm. in. So then we recommend, if you can, use your air conditioner so that you're not le leaving your doors and windows okay. open and letting these mosquitoes inside. Okay, and obviously if you leave the stuff open, make sure the screens exactly. are there. Exactly, okay. there are screens, All there's right. no holes or tears. Yeah, so uh, take care of that. Mm -hmm. And um, another one here, repellents. Now, mm -hmm. these are the ones that people can buy at any store. Absolutely, right? yes. Some These, of them have sunscreen in them, right? Some of yeah. them do. Um, what we do recommend are the ones that have these active ingredients, D, okay. picaridin, IR 3535, or oil of lemon eucalyptus. It's really important to read the directions or the label on the back because there are different um, times as far okay. as um, re you know, reapplying. Uh, let me ask you um, about you know putting that stuff on because mm -hmm. the last one, the oil of eucalyptus, what yeah. about if you're outside, you want to enjoy outside, sitting mm -hmm. outside, the, those citronella candles, things like that, do they help at all uh, or anything in that way? Yeah, or? according to the research that's been conducted, it hasn't really helped. Okay. And especially, you need something on your body because you could have candles or even plants, but if they're 20 feet away, you know, that's not protecting you. Mm -hmm. So you need something on your skin. And another thing to important when applying repellent, especially in the summer, people like to wear sunscreen also. Make sure you wear the sunscreen first and then the repellent over that because it's the, the fragrance of, of the repellent that repels the mosquitoes. Okay. So don't put the sunscreen over it because then it, that just hides that. Okay, all right, mm -hmm. and here are the different types of tips that we just went over yes. about um, you know limiting the water in your area mm -hmm. and saucer standing water and uh, wearing repellent and long sleeves, you mm -hmm. know, which again, when it's warm out, you know, that's kind of a hard thing to yeah. do. Yeah, so if you don't want to wear long yeah. sleeves and long pants, make sure you wear repellent to right. cover the exposed skin. Yeah, very, very mm -hmm. important. And uh, rats, okay. Yes. Now, I was talking to uh, Mary Joy before this. We know rats very well it's at our house. Um, not that they're in our house, thankfully, <laughs> but we're up by, uh, by uh, O'Neill Park. Mm -hmm. I, we have an orange tree. I grow vegetables throughout the years. Mm -hmm. And you know, there's we've tried all kinds of different things, mm -hmm. and of course for the dogs, it's 
it's fun for them. They're out hunting all the time. They're out, I think, last night, you know, mm -hmm. just looking all around in the evening. But what can you do uh, mm -hmm. for, for rats? So rats, like any other mammals and like humans, they yeah. look for food, water, and shelter. Yeah. So if you have those available, they'll come to your backyard. And so the best thing that we can do is to remove those things so that your backyard is no longer attractive mm -hmm. to them. Like, why would they go to your yard if there's nothing for them there? Right. So removing those things are really important. I understand some people have gardens and they have fruits and, and vegetables. Um, so the best thing to do would be when they're ripe, just to, to take them in yeah. so that they're not lying out there and not calling the rats to come and, and eat them. Yeah, so like I said, that happens a lot. With mm -hmm. the orange trees, some of the oranges are up so high Right. It, it's hard to uh, to uh, get to them, and you know what's worse is when I find a little rat in the spa mm. laying oh. in there. Yeah, you, <laughs> usually on the inner tube drinking a mojito, but that's right. you know, that's a whole other thing. But <laughs> here we go. Um, going back to these mm -hmm. mosquitoes here, um, the evasive ones they have a certain look to them. Yeah, Am like I they right? are. They're tiny. They're black with white stripes. They're aggressive daytime biters. Okay. And normally they bite you around the ankles because they're really smart. If they, if they fly around your face, you're gonna yeah. kill them. So they're really smart in that sense. So they, okay. they hang out in the lower um, extremities. If someone uh, does get bitten by them, mm -hmm. Uh, for the average person, does it feel any different than a regular mosquito bite? Yeah, because these mosquitoes are very new to Orange County, a lot of us have not um, developed any immunities against them mm -hmm. or antibodies. So those who get bit, sometimes it's a larger welt than usual. They're extra itchy um, just because they are new and we're not used to them yet. Okay. Um, but for a lot of people, about you know, they don't show any symptoms at all. Okay. So they don't know that they are bit. But okay. you know, we don't know which mosquito um, yeah. you know, could, could bite us and couldn't cause itches. Yeah, yeah, very true. Now, here is a community mm -hmm. meeting that's coming up. It's not until next month, but mm -hmm. it, uh, so we will certainly remind you of this. This will be right over at uh, City Hall here on Thursday, April 25th at 1.30. And really, you're gonna be there to present some of the same stuff we just mm -hmm. saw here. And a I little write. bit more. Okay. Yeah, we only had 10 minutes here, um, but we have over an hour there. We'll also be answering questions. We'll have a little set up so people can actually see what are you know the breeding sources in their backyard. Okay. And hopefully they can point them out so they can go back home and eliminate them. Okay, and why, you know, we talked a little about rats are, are annoying. There's things that can be done for that. Mm -hmm. The mosquitoes are much harder to combat. It's especially, especially yeah. when they are flying. So yeah. we are really, I'm trying to, to teach people to eliminate the mosquitoes when they're in their aquatic life stages, when they're in their rafts or larvae and pupae, because the, it's just in one area. When they're flying around, it's, it's just much harder. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, for sure. And uh, that's why that's in your name, Miss Orange County yeah, Mosquito, mosquito and Vector, vector control. control. Years ago, it was just Vector Control. Right. So you're yeah. kind of emphasizing that now. And some people don't really know what Vector is, and we have to I explain that. I think a lot that. of people don't. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. right, uh, Mary Joy, thank you very much for coming on. It's been a pleasure. Thank and you. we'll remind you, it's about a month from now, a little over a month from now, this meeting. And uh, again, it will be April 25th. But for more information, anytime you want, go to ocvector.org. And we'll be right back.